die above the heavens. And the glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above the nations. Oh, give God the highest praise. Hallelujah, amen, always. And all the people say, Halle, Halle, Halle. Halle, Halle, Halle. It's the third chapter. Yes, um, I figure like if you um going to come to church, you might as well have church. Yeah. And I, I don't agree with y'all today. I'm on 100 because he keep doing great things for me. Yeah. And I'm not worried. Beatrice to death this week in this classroom because I was worried if my, at first I was supposed to get my 2,000 and then they was like, nah, you ain't going to get 2,000. It's too much laughing here. Uh, they say you're not going to get 2,000. You're going to get 248. And I kept checking my account waiting for my $248 to hit my account, my good old Wells Fargo. And I kept looking and it never hit. And I was like, well, I had to call the tax man. And the tax man was like, you're not going to get the $248. And let me tell you why I'm in a place where I can praise God. Last year, two, not last year, but two years ago, I would have been devastated because I depended on that money to pay a bill or something like that. But I just wanted that money to buy me a pair of Jordans or some phone parties or something like that. My bills are paid. My body is healed. I'm in my right mind. And I was going to blow through the money anyway. And so the only thing I'm saying is that the Lord is a and I'm not going to sit here and manipulate you and try to trick you into praising the Lord. I'm going to praise him because he's been good to me. Does anybody got out like he's just been good to me? Praise. Come on, y'all dead people. Everything dead ought to be buried. Come on and wake up in here and give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Let me tell y'all how rude y'all mama is. She kept standing in the back of the classroom. She was like, Mr. Marshall, really? You right on this $248? And I was like, really? It's my money. And so I want $248 so I can buy me some joys. But then I looked around after he told me I wasn't getting a dime. I didn't skip a beat. I didn't stop. I'm not in a place of want. And so we come into church and we want somebody to trick us and manipulate us and coerce us to praise in the Lord. I want to praise him for he's worthy. I want to praise him because I'm not in the same place that I was here. Tell your neighbor, say he's worthy to be praised. Three years ago, I would have been devastated because my mortgage wouldn't have been paid. But the bills was paid before the taxes came. And even though there ain't no taxes, I'm still all right. I still eat. I'm still getting fat. It says that God has been good to me. Put your hand on yourself and say, he's been good to me now. I don't know. You can get out your judgment and thinking you all right and everybody all wrong. We all need God. Everybody come to the hospital for the one reason or another. I come to give him glory. I come to give him honor. All right. All right. I feel it. I got my ADHD Holy Ghost on today. Y'all gonna have to catch up with me because Mother Work, he keeps doing great things for me. He keeps doing great. I was sitting in this meeting the other night with other entrepreneurs, and I'm gonna get to the word of the Lord because I got one. And I was sitting in this meeting the other night with other entrepreneurs, and the Lord laid something on my heart. I felt like, you know, after the last house, I was like, well, let me just take a break and a breather and whatever. And I was sitting in this meeting the other night, and something hit me like a ton of bricks. He said, do you know you got a real estate agent in your church? Right. And I was like, yeah, Hello. but, you know, whatever. And it was something like, and I text Tony from the meeting, and I said, Tony, I'm ready to buy another house. And Tony was like, so we start going back and forth. And so and from that moment, y'all, my, my, my day, because when I got up that day, nothing in my brain said I was going to go after a house, or I was going to reach for better, or I was going to go after better. But between that morning when I got up at 6.20 in the morning, at 8 o'clock at night, something hit me that I'm better than I ever was in my whole life. And I'm healthier than I ever was in my own life and my bank account might not reflect it but I'm in a good place and I am rich tell your neighbor say you might not know see taxes is not the only time that I come up in the world I stay balling all year long y'all are getting when y'all get home some people this is the only time of the year they have money tell your neighbor say I got money all the time tell your neighbor say I stay with money I, I'm not even attracted to cheap stuff. I walk in the mall and I automatically put my hand on the highest shoes in there because I'm just fabulous yeah. like that. And so this is not the only time of year that I came up. I'm going to automatically come up that won't be reversed. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's good, sir. All right. Yes, sir. That's good. Y'all looking at me like y'all crazy. That's good, sir. Y'all looking at me crazy because you married to being broke. But my, my last day being broke was a long time ago. I want you to say this at me. Say, I'm out of debt. Y'all they say to say I'm out of debt. All of my knees are met. And I'll never be broke. Another day in my life. I don't care if I got two dollars, I ain't broke. I will never be broke. Come on, Nia, say it with me. Say I will never be broke. Tell somebody else, say I got money all over the place. I got money, money is baby federal and, and Excel federal. I got money under the mattress. I got money in the car. I got money in the change shop. I got money all over around me. I, when I go to put my hand on it, I can get it because my father is rich. He owns the world. And because if my daddy is rich, I'm rich. Yes, sir. Tell your neighbor, say, I got it. I got it. Tell, I don't like some of y'all quiet, and that's why you ain't got no money. Tell your neighbor, say, I got it. I got it. I might not have money, but I got favor. And favor and God working together is better than money. Amen. All right, Genesis, the third chapter. Y'all better stop coming to church low. Y'all better stop coming to church needing somebody to reverse and use all the psychology. I come to church to receive for what I need. I come to get what I want. My life ain't gonna never be the same no more. And I'm not responding to people the same like I used to. I'm in another place. My mind is elevated. My spirit is elevated. And guess what? I can't hang around low people all the time. Yes. Every time I get around you, you need encouraging words. And you need somebody to talk you up. And you need somebody to... I'm not there no more, baby. I need movers and shakers in my life. Yeah, that's good. That's good teaching. I'm not taking it back neither. Genesis, third chapter, third chapter. 
Um, Genesis, the third chapter now. Genesis is in the first book of the Bible. Um, and everybody doesn't know that. But um, if you're in the Old Testament or the New Testament, just go all the way to the beginning. And uh, Genesis, J G N, Gen, like Gen, like Gen and Juice. Genesis is at the beginning of the Bible. Um, the, the church people get so deep by the word, like they don't know what Gen is. You got to bring come where the people are. Genesis um, 3. It says now, now listen to this. It says now the liar, the serpent, um, was more shrewd than any other beast of the field which the Lord had made. And, the, and he said unto the woman, ye, ha, ye have, uh, you hath God says, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may not eat of every tree of the garden, but the tree of which is in the midst of the garden, God says we cannot eat or touch it. Verse number four, and the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not die if you eat upon this tree. For God doeth not know, oh God, this language, for God knoweth that in the, yeah, can I get a version? Jesus. Ooh, I feel like I'm slow right now. And I teach kids for a living. All right. He says, no, you will not die, the serpent said to the woman. In fact, God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Now, the serpent was the most cunning of all the white wild beasts in the field. And the, and the serpent said to the woman, did God really tell you that you could not eat of that tree? And the woman said to the serpent, why are you talking to a snake anyway? Because a snake is always going to be a snake. And, and he said it to him. You want to talk about that? A snake is a snake. Watch out. Tell your neighbor, say the snake gonna always be a snake. They're gonna always be a snake. Y'all coming alive now. Drama. The, the, the serpent said to the woman, the day that you eat upon this tree, he said, You will uh you will surely be like God. The problem was they were already like God. That's it. That's it. That's good too. Because they did not know good and they do not know evil. They did not have to work. They were immortal. They were dead. They would never die. And the serpent said to the woman, eat of this tree and you will be like God. Tree. 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 That's what it was. Tree. The Bible says, and then they ate and their eyes were open. Um, verse number eight, I want y'all to hear this. It says, And the man heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden at the e at the evening breeze and at the dead and the dew of the day, and they hid themselves from the Lord. Good luck with that. Um, among the trees of the garden, and the Lord called out to the man. See, the woman talked to the snake, but the Lord came back to talk to the man who he gave instructions to. And he says, Where art thou? He says, I cannot come to you, for I am naked, so I hid. And the Lord asked the question, who told you that? Do me a favor. I want you to talk to somebody on the other side of the room before we get out here today. But I come to preach you today. Ask your neighbor the question and say, who told you that? Who told you that? Ask somebody on the other side of this church. You talk to this side and this side. Talk to this side. And somebody talk to me. And somebody talk to the drummer. And somebody talk to everybody. Ask your neighbor the question and say, who told you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? You that. Give me the other mic, please. I feel like preaching. Oh, this better. Um, um I want to talk today from the subject. Who um told you that? Um, um, ask your neighbor says, Who told you that? Who told you that? Um, there was a woman. I want y'all to hear this story. Um, I want y'all to hear this story. There was a woman. Um, who found a snake on the side of the, the highway. The snake was sick. The snake um, had suffered um, some kind of wound. The snake, the S-N-A-K-E, had suffered some kind of impediment. The snake was wounded for whatever reason. And then the woman saw the snake. Oh my God. He saw that this, the woman saw that the snake was broken and was not whole. So the woman took the snake home and try to nurse a snake to help. Now before you judge this woman, you do you don't judge her because you have dated some people and you have married some people and you have befriended some people that you knew they were snakes when you met them. And so a snake don't ever change its colors. It only changes its skin. And they took, she took the snake home. Oh my God. For months 
months. Huh? She nursed the snake for months. She she brought the snake into a place of wholeness. Huh? You got to uh, you got to realize that some friendships, French friendships, huh, and relationships are one dimensional. Huh? You will be genuine, and the person will always be a snake. Um, am I preaching or no? Huh? Um, and so what happens, what happens here, or uh, even being just side clap, he's like, yeah, you're doing good. So what happens here um, is um, one day um, she was in the bed and the snake slithered under the covers. And, and because he had been there for a long time, he had access. You, you got to watch who you're talking to. You got to watch who you're telling your secrets to. Huh? You don't never tell another girl about what's going on in your relationship. Huh? Because people play black both sides of the fence. Huh? And you will look again and she'll be in the bed with your man. Huh? You got to watch huh? some things you got to keep your mouth closed about huh? and tell God and God alone. Yeah. Come on, son. Somebody say, preach boy. Um, the snake slithered in the bed. The snake slithered in the bed. And as he slithered in the bed, I, I will believe that it was a python. Or it was a, a rattlesnake. It was a venomous snake. Huh? And Mr. Henry, he started choking the life out of her. Huh? Oh my God. She asked him the question. She says, why are, he, why are you doing this? Huh? Why are you trying to kill me? Huh? I nursed you back to hell. Huh? I fed you in times of trouble. Huh? I paid your bill. Huh? I loaned you my tax money, huh? I let you stay with me, huh? And you didn't ever pay the rent, huh? Why are you trying to kill me, huh? And the snake said, you knew I was a snake, huh? When you brought me home, huh? And the enemy is killing us, huh? Because we can't recognize snakes. I redeemed myself from last week. Uh, same outfit, too. Same, same. Uh, uh, a lot of us on our jobs be telling them our business. Huh? A lot of us be telling our homegirls our business. Huh? A lot of us be telling people our business. Huh? And we put it all on Facebook. Huh? And we don't realize that misery loves company. Huh? And instead of people praying for you, huh? they just snapshot the thing. Huh? Put it in the private messages. Huh? Saying, look what this fool is going through. Huh? Because a snake will always be a snake. A snake. A snake is Tell your neighbor, say, stay, stay rid of them snakes. Um, in this particular text, um, um, before we get to, um, before we get to, you, you, you gotta watch who you tell your secrets to. You gotta, you gotta watch who you vent to. You gotta watch who you tell your relationship problems to. Huh? Because guess what? A snake will talk, will be talking on both sides of their mouth, huh? and will divide y'all to get with the other one. By the word, looking at me like this boy preacher am. By the word, one of the things that let's let's go back to the origins. Y'all sit down. Let's go back to the origins. Sick of these snakes. Y'all sit down. So I can calm down. But I'm near here, so I gotta preach. Oh, uh, Bible says in the book of Isaiah, we call him the devil. We call him Belzebub. We call the enemy, the serpent, all kind of names. But the serpent has a name. And his name is Lucifer. Okay. And Lucifer's name means morning star. His name means enchanted one. His name um, means one who brings glory. Um, so you must understand that Lucifer's job did not start in hell watching under the underworld. Lucifer's job did not start as being a deceiver or the accuser of the brethren. Lucifer's job didn't start as to kill, to steal, and to destroy. On, Lucifer's job didn't start as to murder and to cause contention and hate and division. Lucifer started out as the right hand of God. Yeah. Lu Lucifer started out in heaven according to um, Isaiah. Isaiah um, 38, the Bible says he started out in heaven as God's right hand man. Be before there was Michael and because before there was Gabriel, there was Lucifer. The Bible says uh, that Lucifer was so put together, the Bible says that his presence ministered to God. The Bible says that when Lucifer walked around heaven, oh my God, they said that God was ministered to. Now, I've never seen it in the Bible, but they said Lucifer was over the choir. Go on, uh, hint, hint. Huh? And so you must understand that Lucifer Lucifer had a place in heaven huh, that nobody else had. Huh? Then the Bible talks about a great war. Huh? And the Bible says he lost his place. Huh? City of champions. 
Champions, Full Gospel Church, um, friends and affiliates, I have a question. How, how are you God's right hand and lose your place? My God. My God. Yes, God. Jesus. Now, you must understand this. I feel like preaching today and I told y'all I'm going to. Huh? Um, you must understand this, brothers and sisters. We know him as the devil. We know him as the red man with the pointy hooks and the staff. I don't know where we get that from. Huh? But the Bible says Lucifer was beautiful. Huh? The Bible says that he was second in command. Huh? Let me let me explain something to you. Dominique has been with me from the beginning. Huh? Mother Work has been with me from the beginning. Huh? So there's certain stuff they can say to me. Huh? Uh, they, they might be able to call me and their phone calls come through huh? because there's a certain level of loyalty uh, that you have with people huh? Lucifer was with God in the beginning huh? he knew the secrets of heaven huh? he knew how God created that huh? he knew how God kept that in place huh? he knew how God was God huh? God let him beyond the veil huh? and one day he got beside himself huh? and he says I want God see huh? how in the hell do you have heaven huh? and want to be in charge wow, no. Jesus. Um, Bible says, I'm going to take my time because I'm not here to entertain. Huh? Bible says it just like this. The Bible never says he went to God huh? and said he wanted his chair. Huh? The Bible says he fought it. Huh? God heard it huh? and kicked him out of heaven. Huh? And so now Lucifer huh, is determined for you to not to get back to a place huh, that he can never go. Huh? And so what he comes to do is uh, he comes to deceive and to lie. Huh? The Bible says in the book of Job, anybody know the Bible? Huh? God has said it. He says, where are you? Huh? Where you come from, Messy? Huh? Where you come from, Wendy Williams? Huh? Where you come from, Snake? Huh? He says, I'm walking to and fro, huh? seeking, looking for, huh? I'm requesting. Huh? Oh, my God. Huh? You thought that friend request was somebody who wanted to be your friend. Huh? But they sent you a friend request huh? because your page is private. Huh? And they want to see what's going on in your life. Good Tell your neighbor, say, deny. deny. I don't know you, deny. deny. Bible says, he says, where are you coming from? He says, I'm walking to and fro and I'm seeking, I'm looking for whom I may divide. And not only do you divide, you conquer, I'm seeing who I can overtake. And I want you to understand this. A, a lot of times people will talk you out in a until you talk you out of a place that they desire to be in. If the if the advice is always leave him, uh, she might like him and, and she don't want to do it grimy, so she wants you to get out of the way so she can step in place. And so the Bible says because Satan could no longer return to heaven. The Bible says he came down in the garden and met a woman. And he was determined that this woman would never get to this place of wholeness. This place of joy. This place of peace. So he says, I need to deceive you so you can never get back to a place what I which was. Jesus. Thank you, God. Bible says Satan is kicked out of heaven. Now, he has an audience with God according to Job, the first chapter. But he can never return back into the place in which he was. Mm. Um, you got to understand before we had hands um, and before we had feet and because, before we had an esophagus and before we had all the things in our body to give God praise, uh, it was Satan's job to worship him. Huh? It was Satan's job to give him glory. Huh? It was Lucifer's job to make him bigger. Huh? It was Lucifer's job to, to loose the bands of the wicked. Huh? Lucifer's job was let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Huh? And when Lucifer fell, God said, no, I'm not going to depend on a man uh, 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 An angelic being A celestial being to praise me huh? He says I'm going to form man out of the dirt huh? He says and I'm going to give him hands And tell him to clap their hands huh? All you people huh? And he says I'm going to give him a mouth and tell him to shout huh? Unto me with the voice of triumph huh? I'm going to tell him that praise is calmly To the upright huh? I'm going to tell him from the rising of the sun huh? Y'all looking at me crazy and I feel like preaching huh? To the going down of the same huh? My name, my name, my name uh, it's a word to be praised uh, And so before I give one uh, Responsibility to somebody uh, I'm going to create millions of y'all uh, He said well don't you get arrogant neither uh, Because I've been through this before uh, If you don't cry out uh, I'll let a rock Don't you get arrogant. Huh? Don't you get beside yourself. Huh? Don't you think you're the only one can sing. Huh? Don't you don't think you're the only soprano in the choir. Huh? Don't you think you're the only one with a baritone voice. Huh? I'll replace you too. Huh? Because I'll let rocks huh? cry out in your place. Huh? Somebody see it. I'm going to ask 
Yes, now let me tell y'all the story, and I'm done. So, oh my um, God, Mama, Mama, Mama. Let me tell y'all the story. I studied, but I felt, you know, last week was light, so I just had to redeem myself. Um, here it is. There is the God of fertility. I looked it up again last night to make sure I wasn't giving any erroneous information. Um, the God of um, fertility, his name is Dagon. And Dagon is the Philistines' God. Um, As Asphalt, I think I'm saying it right. Um, all of them are in a family together. So you have uh -huh. Asphalt, you had Dagon, and he was the God of fertility, and he was the God of blood. He had a fish's head and a man's um, and a man's body. Bible says it just like Mother Word. He says that the children of Israel um, lost the Ark of the Covenant. Now, if you know the Ark of the Covenant, you know the second set of the commandments. It wasn't Ten Commandments. I don't even know we get that from. It was like 634 of them. And thank God all of them didn't read the Bible, make the Bible, because we would be just in a bad place. And, and so, 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 because we struggle with the Ten. Y'all, come on, help me somebody. Yeah, that's and that's so, because that thou shall not steal, we are justified eating the grapes in the grocery store. I can't hit nobody. Oh! Uh, I just want to know what's they right. You know, I want to know what's they good. And you done ate 15, you done had brunch. Uh -huh. Mr. Henry, they get so deep, but they know they be walking around the store eating up people's grapes. You know what? That's right, The Ark of the Covenant, solid gold. Bible told him, he says, what kind of wood to use? Made of gold, Tony, and, and only certain people could carry it. Yes. Uh, so only certain people could carry the glory. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. You can't do anything and live any kind of way and carry the glory. Of, I know it's going to get quiet. There, there is a lifestyle that is required to carry the glory. Bible says it. He just said he didn't say he didn't say be perfect. He just said be holy because I'm holy. And the word holy just means separated. They ought to look at your life and say there's something different about him. Uh -huh. okay. I'm gonna holler at you again. Bible says that they took the Ark of the Covenant, which is the glory of God, the, the Shekinah or Shekinah, and is sitting down in a box. Um, only certain people could carry it. You got to understand that this is the time where everybody cannot come into the house. Everybody cannot come. Um, there is the outer court. There's the inner court. There's the holies of holies. And and people knew um, if your life wasn't of a certain status, you better That's stay in that outer court because if you come in the inner court, you could die. Now, as a matter of fact, I, a lot of times I have sinned before I came in here. I cussed somebody out in traffic or did something crazy and so that was a Sunday. I bet not have mounted this pulpit according to the law. Mr. Henry will back me on this because what they would do is they would tie ropes around the priest's legs. And if the priest went in the holies of holies and he was unclean, God killed him dead. He says, how dare you come before me dirty and nasty and everything else. And so the Bible says uh, there were instructions. He told the priest, he says, look fabulous like I do today. He says, put on rhinestones. Uh, he says, when you go to carry me, he says, you got to kill a squirrel or a calf or a goat or a rabbit. There has to be a blood sacrifice. Uh, and the Bible says, and the priest went in to dedicate it and, and by the ashes we know whether God had accepted it or rejected it I know that's Bible, that's good stuff and so the Bible says that the children of Israel uh, 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 got a little too comfortable with God and they lost God hmm do you understand that when God is on your side and in, he, in your region and in your territory when God lives in your Corolla or your Nissan or in your Ford or in your Honda because some of the, some of us that's where our altar is. My altar is my car and so because God is in my car and there are certain times I go to call his name and I start quickening I start speaking in tongues I start going crazy because that's where he meets me at and the children of Israel had God huh, almost wrapped around the string and they lost him. Jesus. Bible says that they took God by Dagon. They stole him. They celebrated that they took God to from the children of Israel and they took it to their house of God. Uh, the only problem was they didn't know how to handle God. Uh, they didn't know how to, they didn't even know that God desired to be carried and not rolled. Uh, they didn't have the instructions that went along with taking 
God. And the Bible says when they got God, oh my God, to their house of God, they put him by something fake. And the Bible says he started knocking stuff down. And the scripture says the next day they got up, they put him back, and he knocked it down again. Marshall, what is your point today? We are in a place where we're living low. We're in a place where we're living beneath our privilege. We're in a place where the enemy's voice is louder than God's in our ears. And the question God is coming to ask you, huh? first of all, why do you have me out of place? Huh? Because anytime you live uh, underneath your, your privilege, huh? God is already saying, no, you got me out of place. Huh? The Bible said that the cattle on a thousand hill belongs to him. Huh? The Bible says our father is rich. Huh? With the houses and land, huh? he holds the whole world in the palm of his hand. Huh? But when we still believe in God about a light bill huh? or a gas bill, huh? we still believe in God about paying our bill. Huh? And God said, I want to give you the whole complex. Huh? We go in the test time, we not going to pass. Huh? And before you left the house, God said, guarantee victory. Huh? So the question today huh, is who told you? It's who told you? Who told you? Who told you? Don't you understand that God, some of us are going through this place, and I'm going to get back to the good stuff because some of y'all going to die, but you'll be all right. Can I tell you, some of the stuff in your life is in chaos right now because you are, you don't understand what he told you. Now, we live in an age of information. We live in an age of technology. I, I, I told my leaders that when somebody is prophesying to me, just get your iPhone out of Android huh, and push record so we can remember. Huh? And so sometimes you have to replay the instructions huh, so you don't get the, the mess up going along the process. Huh? And so God is saying to us, replay the instructions huh, because you're handling me wrong. Huh? Replay the instructions huh, because you don't trust me. Huh? I gave you victory before you went in. Huh? You are are settling or are selling yourself short, huh? But I said you were the lender and not the borrower, huh? Oh my God, huh? You're selling yourself short, huh? And I told you your body is healed, huh? Uh, you're selling yourself short, huh? And I told you that there's no good thing, huh? That I will hold from the righteous, huh? You're selling yourself short, huh? Because I told you that uh, healing is the children's bread, huh? So eat, huh? Oh my God, you're selling yourself short, huh? Because I told you that this job, huh? The company, huh? The CEO, huh? And the HR belongs to me. Okay, y'all over it. Y'all over it. Yes, ma'am. Mother Work, um, when I was a little boy, they used to say, Didn't I tell you it will be alright? Didn't I tell you it will be alright? Didn't I tell you it will be alright? Told me to tell you it will be alright. Didn't I tell you? It will be all right. Did not tell you it will be all right. Did not tell you it will be all right. Oh, he told me to tell you it will be all right. Oh, this silence will lock in jail. Oh, this silence will lock in jail. Did not tell you it will be all right. Did not tell you it will be all right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
All right, man, that's enough.